For the Wigan fans, this was no ordinary home game. This was a chance to hear owner Dave Whelan bow out after 20 years as chairman, an inspirational figurehead in the stadium which bears his name. But his team lived dangerously early on as lead striker Billy Sharp went down under a challenge from Guyton Bong. No penalty, but the visitors had served notice of their intentions. With Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers watching on, Shea Ojo caught the eye in his latest game on loan from Anfield, but James McLean's shot was beaten away. Leeds have only ever won once at Wigan, nearly 30 years ago, but Alex Mowat was about to change that. Teed up by Sharp, Mowat scored one of the goals of the day early in the second half. It's now 2-2 two two for the midfielder. Stung into action, Wigan dominated possession and laid siege to the away goal. Mark Antoine Fortuné did the hard work, only to see it come to nothing because none of his teammates could get a boot on it. Then it was Ojo's turn to cause trouble, but again the Leeds goalkeeper Marco Silvestri wasn't called on to make a save. And even when they did manage a shot on target like this McLean free kick, Silvestri had an answer. Wigan are now eight points from safety. It was a good performance for us. Um, 60% of possession and 19 attempts on target means that we should have won the game, never mind um, scrambling to actually get a, a draw out of it. We're on a good run of form. Um, always a difficult game because of the magnitude of you know of, of the game as regards us trying to put a bit of closure on you know the relegation battle and, and and Wigan fighting for points you know fighting for their lives and the surface didn't make it easy um, but I thought we were the side that always looked like we we're going to win it.